वेलकम टू द कोड टू एनहांस लर्निंग वीडियो सीरीज टू लर्न कोडिंग लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द लेसन ई कैटलॉग लाइब्रेरी द पर्पस ऑफ दिस लेसन इज डिजिटल कैटलॉग्स कैन स्टोर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट ग्रेट क्वांटिटीज ऑफ आइटम्स व्हिच कैन बी ऑर्गेनाइज्ड एंड क्लासिफाइड इनटू डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज for users to search in a more rapid and effective way in library this also keeps readers motivated to read the books especially children unlike conventional library catalogs these library e catalogs allows you to save money since you will not need to spend on paper and printing also e catalogs allows quick and easy maintenance of the book records for the person in charge However, many school library are yet to have their e-catalogs. What can we do? The objective is to make application called e-catalog for the library. Before starting, let's see a preview. Here you can see I have this e-catalog and I want to add some books in it. What is the name of the book? What is the book number of the book that you want to add? Your book is added successfully. What is the name of the book? What is the book number of the book that you want to add? Your book is added successfully. Now, I am going to find the book in it. What is the name of the book? The book number is 68. Thank you. After this, I want to remove a book from it. What is the name of the book? The book has been deleted from the list. In this lesson, we are going to use the concept of list. An e-catalog has information like name of the book, number of the book, name of the author, and many other information how do you think we can store this much information and manipulate it okay the answer is list list unlike variables can store multiple data at the same time refer the image below you can see a list called book list each value stored in the list has a specific place in the list You can also alter the value stored in the list and even manipulate them. Before we start making this project, let's think and note down the response of question. Can you tell me what will happen on stage? Okay. The user can add a book in the e-catalog. He can remove a book from e-catalog and he can check if a specific book is available in the e-catalog. and find the serial number of the book now i will think about what we will need on the stage okay we need add book button to add a book in the e catalog with name and serial number we need find book button to find the book in the e catalog and remove a book button to remove a book from e catalog as a sprite and a library catalog as a backdrop as you can see here i have already created these sprites and the backdrop let's move to the coding part let's start with first sprite that is add button as you can see i have written a code here whenever this sprite will be clicked it is going to ask user what is the name of the book and the answer from the user will get stored in the answer block the problem here would be that if we want to add a new book again the name of the current book will get deleted and we won't be able to access it later however i want the name of the book to get stored in place where i should be able to access it later for this i will use the concept of list here list allows us to store multiple data simultaneously the name of the list would be book list 
You can see that the table is created on the stage when the list of the book is shown on that stage by clicking on the tick beside the list. The list stores data in the cells. Each cell has a number to define its position. Now, to add the name of the book stored in answer, I will use the block add to the list. I will put the answer block in the add block. For example, what is the name of the book? When I write apple, then apple will get stored in the first place. What is the name of the book? Then, if I write banana, then it gets stored at the second place and so on. I remove the apple and banana from the list as I want it to be for the name of the book only. In libraries, all the books have a number to identify it. I will use speak, ask block and add to the list block to add the number of the book to catalog in the similar way as I did to add the name of the book. You can see that we are adding the data in the list in a way that the name of the book comes first and the number of the book comes after it and this goes on. In the end, to acknowledge the book has been added, I will write a code to say that the book has been successfully added. I will use say block and also speak blocks. Let's see how it works. What is the name of the book? What is the book number of the book that you want to add? Your book is added successfully. I have added some books in the list as you can see. The other feature I want is that the application allows a user to check if a book is present in the library or not. And if the book is present, then for this, I will use ask and speak block again to ask the name of the book. Also, I will use the event. Now, I will use a block item in the book list, which gives me the position of the item. If the item entered in the block matches the items present in the list, I will put the answer block in this block. Also, if the item is not present, then it will show zero. I will create a variable i to store the value that would be given by the block. Also, I will initialize the value of i to zero. I will use a conditional block to check if i is zero. If yes, which means that the book is not present, then I want the application to say that Please check if the book name entered is correct. As which means that the book is present and the position of the book is stored in the variable, the application will say the number of the book. For this, I will use item block which will give me the value stored in the given position. I will add i plus 1 as i is the position of the book and i plus 1 is the number of the book. I will use join operation to make the application response in a way that the book number is then say the book number which is in the position of i plus 1. In the end, the application will say thank you to complete the process. The last thing the application would do is delete the name and number of the given book entered by the user. For this, we will use the similar codes above to let the user enter the book name and check if the book is present in the list or not. Which means that i is 0, then book is not present, then the application will ask the user to check the name of the book. However, if i is not 0, it means that the book is present and then book will be deleted. For this, I will use delete block which delete an item present in the given position and I will use this block to delete the name of the book. And again, I will duplicate the block to delete the number of the book. Here for the number of the book, 
we are not using i plus 1 because after deleting the name of the book the position will get changed we will use say and speak block to acknowledge that the book has been deleted from the list so the coding part is done now let's see how the whole program will run what is the name of the book what is the book number of the book that you want to add? Your book is added successfully. What is the name of the book? The book number is 14. Thank you. What is the name of the book? The book has been deleted from the list. So this is the code for e-catalog library using scratch programming. After this, I have some quizzes for you. Read it carefully and discuss the answer with your partner or teacher. Now, before ending this, I have some questions which you have to discuss with your partner or teacher. Thank you for watching.